The coefficient of variation, also known as the relative standard deviation, compares the spread of data between two datasets. The coefficient of variation equals the standard deviation divided by the mean. Let's take four siblings of different ages as an example. Here, the youngest is one year old, the second youngest is three years old, and the second oldest is seven years old, and finally the oldest is 14 years old. To calculate the coefficient of variation for this group's age, we begin by calculating the mean or average age of these siblings. This is done by adding the ages of the siblings together and dividing that sum by the total amount of siblings. This gives us an average or mean age of 6.25 years. Now we need to calculate the variance in age of the siblings as the variance is the standard deviation squared. The variance is calculated by subtracting the mean age from the age of each child and squaring that difference. All these squared age differences are then summed together and finally divided by the total amount of siblings minus 1, which gives us a variance of 32.92 years. Now we simply take the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation, which is 5.74 years. Finally, we divide the standard deviation with the mean, just like the formula states. So 5.74 years divided by 6.25 years is 0 0.918 or 91.80%. But what does this 91.80% really mean? Well, if we were to compare these four siblings, which have a coefficient of variation of 91.80% to another set of siblings that had, for example, a coefficient of variation of 50%, it would mean that the second set of siblings with the smaller coefficient of variation has a much smaller spread of variation in their ages. More simply put, it would mean that the second set of siblings are much closer in age to one another. If you want to learn more about statistics, check out this playlist.